Research has demonstrated that portable weigh-in-motion, or WIM, technology is a cost-effective and accurate tool for TxDOT to measure and collect the traffic and axle load-specific data used for pavement designs, maintenance, or rehabilitation of the roadways, especially in heavy energy development areas of the state. And now working with a Texas A&M Transportation Institute project team, TxDOT has implemented a portable version of these systems in districts across the state. What was developed here was a system for going out to any highway and putting some sensors on the ground and counting and weighing every truck that drives over this, uh, this system. Um, it is new technology that was developed as part of the research program and it was implemented with a primarily focus on the uh, energy sector. Especially within the energy sector area, we can probably have a good handle on the ADT, uh, the vehicle counts and the truck percentage. But if we don't know the weight of the vehicles, then that traffic projection is going to be off. So we design with the wrong traffic data, then we can see premature failures uh, very quickly. TxDOT system has been in place for many years. It's, it's traffic counting system. Um, but what, what was happening with the energy sector was they really needed project-specific data. So anytime there was a district need for project-level data, there was a portable way in motion study that was conducted to give them exactly the numbers they needed for payment design purposes. In addition, also training the districts. But this research project or implementation project gave the districts a little bit more training on what the data means and how the data is processed to, to, to get the most accurate numbers for using the payment design. To improve the, the system, uh, you know, one step further, we're talking about uh, new sensors which actually can classify trucks. So we can put a low-cost sensor which can supplement the data that TxDOT collects at the moment, which are the tube counts, and tell you the percentage of trucks. This is all a sort of an, an incremental improvements here. So we're busy looking at new sensors to, to do truck classifications. What this implementation project did was take the findings from the original projects and just expand given districts traffic data that they need for their projects and also training them and what the data means and what is the most accurate data that they need for, for their payment designs. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the TxDOT Research Library at the link shown below.